Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we will be talking about V-Ray's light mix and how we can use this render element to relight without the need to re-render. On Chaos's website, they compare light mix to having smart bulbs in your house. You can simply adjust everything right from your phone, or in this case, V-Ray's frame buffer. So to work with V-Ray light mix, we first need to add the light mix render element to our scene. Head to the render settings, the render elements tab, and just go ahead and add light mix. If we just go ahead and open the extra V-Ray attributes tab here in the attribute editor, you can see we have a group by dropdown. By default, it is set to individual lights, which is good if you want control over everything. In this scene, we have some ungrouped lights, but also some stored within a group. So what we can do is switch this to grouped lights. And I find this a good way to organize the scene in the light mix as we can clump together controls of similar lights. But in this example, they're just duplicates of the lights, so I can just kind of show you the functionality. Cool, so all we need to do now is render. Once we have a render, we can click on the light mix layer and start to make some tweaks. You can see here we have our ungrouped lights displayed individually. And the group of lights shown as one entity here as well. If I just go ahead and switch off all the lights by hitting this toggle on the all options, we can then switch on individual lights and make changes like that. Seems like the backlight was off uh, for some reason in this render, but anyway, you can see we have control of the others. Or I can turn on the entire group which contains lights from all angles, so we can make changes in one go to both the intensity and also the color. But let's not do that, let's work with the lights individually. This definitely isn't going to be the most beautiful lighting setup, but it should show you how to use light mix. Of course, you don't need to use all the lights. You could render more than what you needed, so you kind of have more options when mixing. And it's also a good idea to render with a higher intensity than what you want, since with light mix, it's cleaner to dim the light than it is to try and brighten them. But you should be able to get away with increasing the intensity a little bit. I also recommend rendering all your lights white, which just kind of makes them easier to adjust in light mix, as we can make more accurate adjustments to the color without having to counter the color already baked, rendered into the lights. Cool, so what I like to do once I'm happy with the light mix setup is just apply that back to the scene. In most instances, it's easy to do. All you need to do is hit the to scene button here and just press yes. It will seem like you've lost your changes, but if you check your lights, I will just quickly hide that group. You can see that the attributes have actually been updated. Ah, and yes, the reason the backlight you didn't render is because the color was black, which makes sense. And of course, if we go ahead and re-render now, you can see we have the same effect, but it's kind of like set in the actual light's attributes. And also, now our lights aren't white, I can better demonstrate what happens when you don't have white lights. See how we don't really have access to the full color spectrum and the colors aren't representative of what we have selected. I like to use light mix for quick iterations of lighting setups, allowing me to work fast and try a lot of options efficiently. You could use for renders if you know you want both a day and night render. There's really lots of options and use cases and it's proper handy to know about and it's one of the big perks of working with V-Ray. Like the chair model, you can pick it up and also the scene files to have a play around yourself. Just head to my Patreon to grab the downloads and to gain some other cool perks. Regardless of if you're a Patreon, please come join the Discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers, share projects and get feedback. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.